again from Normandy. It's actually sunny. It's been raining very, very heavily. And today I wanted to talk about do poultry make good pets? Well, the first thing is to think about what pets really are because in French they're called animal de compagnie. And I think that's probably, yeah, it's a better idea for poultry because they can be so helpful to you in the garden. And you could build up a really good relationship gardening with them. Is that another slug? Oh, another delicious slug. Delicious slug. Are you ready? Delicious slug. No, this way. Look. Delicious slug. Come here. Come on. No, what's this? <laughs> and I even take my birds with me when I do a gardening job. This one's very tame, the female. But the male is a little more wary. So when the jackdaw flew over, he gave a warning cry and he went head under the hydrangea bush and he called her to come. But because she trusts me to look after her, she's actually stayed here. Although some of them aren't as enthusiastic, perhaps, as others. No, oh, no, she's on the terrace. She's not allowed on the terrace. Yeah. Ah, si, si. Tu la terrasse. And it's not so odd at all to me the idea of livestock or farm animals being pets. And if, like me, you come from a farm background, you may have had parents like mine who thought they could save a few coppers by giving you a pet that was something already existent on the farm. So when I was a child, I got a cow for my pet. Yeah, I did. It was a red cow, an Ayrshire, an old breed. And if you look at the red cows, the old breeds, like these, for example, the Normans, then you can really understand why they make great pets, because they just look like teddy bears. And sometimes you start very early with a pet because this little chick got injured the other day, so he's really, really tame now because he's happy that I looked after him. So that's a lovely pet. Be a friend for life now. And the other thing, if you're a parent thinking about having a pet for your child, I know I've learnt a lot from just looking at my birds and seeing how they react with each other. And yeah, there's a bit of conflict from time to time, but it's usually just ritualistic. Most of the time they're incredibly loving and incredibly giving. And I think that's a lesson that is very valuable in life. Then I've taken Bungle, my Polish hen, to the beach. And we've got birds that love DIY and just hanging out on the sofa. Some birds, yeah, they like to be pets, I think. They just sit all day on your knee or in your hand and you'd be stroking them and you'd be doing your heart a lot of good and they'd be happy at doing that. But in general, I think they like doing things with you. I think the accompanying idea or being company fits really well into the idea of a pet. So I think the answer to my question is, yeah, they make really good pets. And you get eggs too.